This is the final video in a series devoted to exploring stereotypes of female scientists in film. We've considered six common stereotypes, the male woman, the old maid, the lonely heroine, the daughter or assistant, the naive expert, and the evil plotter. Why is it important to know about these stereotypes? Myths and prejudices about science are strongly influenced by mass media depictions of scientists in fictional film and in reporting of scientific issues. Female scientists are less frequently depicted in important scientific roles in film, and when they are, their roles or characteristics differ substantially from those of their male counterparts. Such fictional depictions are absorbed into the social consciousness where they may influence reality. Movies, in particular, can have a powerful influence, especially on young, impressionable viewers. The fictional characters in the cinema seen by girls and young women can reinforce stereotypes, especially when there are no female role models in real life. In the past, those roles often marginalized or sexualized the fictional woman scientists. Today, the woman scientist in film may be as successful as her male counterpart, but that success comes at a price, such as loss of family or moral compass. Filmmakers also may imbue female scientist characters with questionable features ostensibly designed to make them appear as strong as males. However, cussing, heavy smoking and drinking, disrespectful treatment of subordinates, and generally aggressive behavior towards authority does not equalize the genders, mainly because these are not attributes of the strong male protagonist who is a scientist. Instead, it is weak, unsuccessful males who use such methods to appear tough. So what constitutes a strong female character who is a true science heroine? Well, she might be mentally and intellectually powerful, emotionally resilient, creative, of high moral character, courageous, and highly competent and skilled at something other than cussing. That's not to say that a fictional female scientist can't have flaws. Flawed characters are often the most interesting and fun to watch. Some of the examples I've reviewed in this series are characters who are involved in exciting scientific work or who face incredible obstacles and overcome them. Female scientist stereotypes, however, are a subset within a broader category of female stereotypes in film in which women are defined by superficial attributes such as beauty. Being aware of how women and other underrepresented groups are stereotyped in the cinema is a first step toward changing long-held beliefs and myths. Also needed are screenwriters and filmmakers who can create and depict more realistic women in science. But ultimately, the choices we make as moviegoers will determine whether the old stereotypes persist or new characters appear with more complex combinations of physical, mental, and emotional features reflective of real people. So the next time you see a film featuring a fictional female scientist, take note of how she is portrayed. Can you place her into one of the stereotypes I've reviewed in this series? Or is she more difficult to classify, indicating that she's more like a real person? Well, I hope you've enjoyed this series. For more information on the research behind female stereotypes in the cinema, please see the references I've included at the end of this video.